In this problem, we're being asked to determine if the series converges conditionally, absolutely, or if it diverges. So recall that it'll converge absolutely if when you take the absolute value of your a sub n and you consider this new series, um, this converges. So if this converges, we say it converges absolutely. If this diverges, but our series converges, we say it's conditional. So um, a good first thing to always try, or usually try, is to look at this and say, hey, what happens when I take the absolute value? So let's do that. Let's just take the absolute value and see what happens. So when we do that, the negative 1 to the n will go away. Because if you take the absolute value of negative 1 to the n, whoops, the n's on the inside, um, no matter what, this is going to be 1 or negative 1. And in any case, the absolute value of that is 1. So we just get 1 over 2 to the n. And we can write 1 as 1 to the n. So you can actually rewrite this series now in a really clever way as 1 over 2. And the whole thing here is to the nth power. And so we've basically done is we've turned this into a geometric series. So you see this is a geometric series and it'll converge now because r here is one half and that's less than one. So it converges by the geometric series test. And that's it. So we have what's called absolute convergence. Absolute convergence. So again, the question was, does it converge absolutely, conditionally, or diverge? So we start always usually by checking if it converges absolutely. So you take the absolute value. We get this. We rewrite it. We realize it's a geometric series. So it converges by the geometric series test. Therefore, we have absolute convergence. You will notice that initially, you could have done something like this. You could have written this as negative 1 half to the n. And this is also a convergent geometric series. However, uh, the question is not just does it converge or diverge, it's does it converge absolutely, conditionally, or diverge. So usually in those problems, a good first step is to check for absolute convergence. So I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.